Hello everyone, hello, Cesare here with some more Final Fantasy XIV. Now, it's been a few days since we were last able to play, simply because uh, I got back from vacation, I streamed on Wednesday and Friday, and then uh, on the weekend I just didn't feel very good. But Monday came around and I felt better, but they were doing um, fire alarm testing. Now you might hear the occasional beep, because uh, they're supposed to be doing it today, but I haven't heard anything yet, so I think they finished yesterday, uh, which is great. However, in-game, we're going to change our pet for single do. Nintendo Direct mashup was shockingly good. I haven't watched it yet, but let me know if there's anything you're interested in. Oh, we got the Buffalo Cap. Hi, Happy Chocobo. Okay, so guys, we um, got quite a bit done here yesterday. We met with the Vana, um, who uh, seemed shockingly surprised that her blessing of light was on our character, given she's never met us before. Uh, we told her, Hithlidaeus Emmet Selk, about the future and what has happened, and they, Emmett Selk's a bit shocked about it, and Hithlidaeus is all like, let's figure it out, but not all like, let's figure it out. Um, we discovered that Hermes has sent dozens upon dozens of media into the uh, sky, um, and when we went to tell Hithlidaeus about the future, uh, Medion got a uh, update from her sisters out in the stars, um, and she did not like what she heard. Uh, and she decided to run the fuck away instead of tell Hermes. Well, when she finally gave her report to Hermes, um, Emmett Salk said that it was, uh, they needed to bring Medion to the convocation, uh, to get the full report, and Hermes decided, nah, nah, fuck that, I'm, I'm, I'm taking her to Katisa's Hyperborea, which is where we are right now, and we are about to do the dungeon. And here's our party members. We get to play with Emmett Selk, Vena, and Hithlidaeus. It's awesome. Okay, here it goes. He did go to Emmett Sulk. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. Hithlidaeus is a bard, Emmett Sulk is a dark knight in here, and Bna is a white mage. Please turn back, or so I might be forced to. Guide to Katisa's Hyper Roy. Also, look at this. You got a fucking huge desert, a snowy field. We got a volcano. And a forest. Uh, give me a quick sec, guys. I just gotta adjust something here. Okay. Sorry. Let's read this guide. Have you ever wondered whether your your creation is a beneficial existence to the star? Wonder no more for Catistan's Hyperborea. Our mission is to determine the answer. From temperate plains to tropical jungles, from smoldering volcanoes to frozen fields, we put creations to the proof in a wide range of meticulously crafted and recreative environments. Will your creation be able to survive in the wider world, or will it threaten the survival of other species? The answers to such questions and more, our highly trained staff will uncover. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Problem. We didn't summon Garbuncle. How could we? Ha 
have a taste. Shit, well, I'm dead. Oh. Time to summon the chicken nugget. Because like, look at this. They got like this volcano area over there, a forest, as well as like this gigantic floating section above us. Like it's all super cool. These fire lions. Oh look, everybody should recognize these fucks. Get the furthest one away. When I summon uh, Titan, so he'll move forward and hit all of them. We're not gonna use uh, Gruta here just because uh, we're almost all dead. Way. We'll get to the next one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Joko, we'll go ahead and uh, talk about it. That's, uh, I'm absolutely fine with it. Um, is cool with it. But how are you doing, guys? How was your weekend? Oh, look, now we're in the snowy area. Castlevania DS Collection. See, that's good, because I've been wanting to get into the Castlevania games. So having them in collections is awesome. Still this guy getting a remake. Interesting. I still haven't played the original. Too many games to play! What are you guys running into that? Fine. Entirely useless. That's good to hear out of the ads. Further abilities, I'm just gonna save them for what's coming up. Okay. So, up here is our first boss. 
And you guys might recognize Lisa here. Or Lissa. If you don't, this is uh, Lissa showing up in our playthrough of Final Fantasy XII. Let's get a pull in. the footprints when he goes invisible. Then he does that. seen about the DQ3 remake trailer or remake it's been a yes I must say this is a promising concept he says disappearing shortly so I'm gonna say no I'll use it now get all the powerful that set but nine seconds left of it yeah but good call on this okay, here he goes using it but it'll wear out by the time he really gets into it so over here again I kind of had that song with even walk, he's just like, I'm going over there, and just here, there. Like... <laughs> Can't be bothered. Hey, same. Yeah, I was just saying, this, this dungeon's actually super cool. Not including the fact that, you know, ice. I hope the one and two remakes are just as good to Chocobo. Alright, so now we're in the upper areas here, and we can still see, like, the lower areas down below, which is very cool as well. Now we got these weird snake flower things. Alright, I'm not, I'm not sure. Also, Emmett, why do you still get that jumping ability? Why do you still get plunge? I call it cheats. Also, can you bring them together, please? No? Okay. Apparently the answer to that question is no. Fall! Yes. 
Where teleportation burn calories still? I mean... That'd be cool. How you know, about if you get teleportation as a fire, you'd get very bad because you wouldn't walk anymore. Hey, maybe. You keep selling your Viper's boots? Why do you do that? Why, why, why do you do that? I'm warning you. Birds! Stay away! He's warning us, guys. Well, guys, I we received a warning Stand from an enemy. Fall. That's that. Lament the Lycaons for murdering off QP. Here we are doing it now. Maybe that's why there are no fat superheroes. Using superhero powers burns ca calories. Uh uh. I'd like to point out fat gum in uh, My Hero Academia. So my brain died though, so I don't remember that place. That, that one. Dude, can you bring these? What, what is this pulling? Thank you, Emmett. Thank you. Finally. You do a thank you to love. Sometimes. My way. I'm not entirely useless. Put them in the bot. I like the music here as well. Like everything about the thunder was just well, really well done. Just the whole atmosphere. Is there a book to read back here? Hang on, one sec, guys. I just want to check. There was. Okay, so one, the one I saw was over here. Maybe I missed one. Either way, we got Observational Journal. According to Mistress Lissa, her creation is based on a concept for a bipedal wolf, and indeed, it is impressively manlike in its gait. It is also highly intelligent, as is evidenced by its ability to employ tools. While the gleam in its eyes gives the impression that it comprehends our words, if this proves to be the case, it would be a shame if its throat isn't designed for speech. I must make mention of this in the next report. I also gotta tell you that uh, Miss Lissa has no idea what a fucking wolf looks like if uh, her, the, the first boss is supposed to be a wolf. Both. You can't both as managerial prowess. Get him, Greta. Get him. use of the Ifrit, uh, jumping ability. No, 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 no. Okay, shoot. How about you? 
Nah, just tell them your truck didn't arrive and you can't get you can't work if the truck doesn't arrive. I mean, I'd say yes, that's what wolves look like in this world, except we've seen wolves here, so. I don't know if that's the case. Alright, see if I can remember this boss. Those are wolves, those are wolves. Anyway, Jeremy, thanks for coming to hang out for a bit. There truly is no accounting for taste. Goodness me, what manner of thinking is behind this? The Laden Lord. Alright, here he goes. My way. I'm not entirely useless. So for this one, you may look like you want to be on his sides, but being in front of him is actually the preferable spot to be. I see you, Oblivion. Okay. I'm not entirely useless. Out of my way! Fun. I imagine that I actually really like the box music in Endwalker. And I really like Shadowbringers, but this one took a bit to get out to grow on me, but I actually really like it. Who really likes the fun Have a taste. Fun shows is growing on me too, but uh, yeah, I, I don't like it nearly as much as I like. Uh, and Walker. Ooh, look at that, we're level 90. Summon Ifrit to learn. Summon Titan to learn. Summon Titan, or Garuda to. Alright, we're heading into the Experimental Artifice. What do you think this guy does for his day job in between breathing fire at walls? I don't know. I cannot let you take me to not yet. I think these birds just show up right then. I 
I see you, Evelyn. One more. Yeah. Going through this dungeon with four contacts and assuming you're going to kidnap Hermes daughter makes it feel a lot darker. Yes, yes it does. Hey Emmett, you got an entire group of mobs that you gotta pick up, bud. <laughs> Seriously, why does the one I target always seem to be the one that gets pushed out of the mob? I see you opening. You see them opening. Oh shit, guys. Vector's trying to catch his favorite Pokemon. Wish him luck. Guys, wish uh, congratulate him now. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, that ring did not go into the proper base. Oh, it did. Did I just not have it yet? Let it... Send it to my inventory. What? But I have more than enough slots in my armory chest. What? Oh, wait, maybe I don't. Fuck. Okay. That answers that problem. Hang on. I gotta get rid of some of these rings. I thought I cleared those all out. I guess I did not. Tetris collection. All right, here you guys go. Look at this. Look how high up in the sky we are, guys. And if there's still birds flying up here, the fuck is before they're expunged from existence. I see you opening. I see you opening. Out of my way. Stand firm. Addition of Mountain Buster. If it's sad if you uh, don't cast it in between each each cast, it, it does get rid of it. So you lose that on the cast, but that's part of like the uh, the making of the class, right? Like trying to make it so it's a little more engaging for people. I think there's another floor after this. I'm not sure actually. Fuck off, birds. All right. 
The successful creation of migratory birds, which travel between continents with the seasons, came as a breath of fresh air to the long stagnant realm of flying life forms. In the end, it was a relatively simple thing to grant creatures the ability to navigate by celestial bodies, but this method lacked the precision needed to guide them to the same location each time. It would be vital to their survival. The breakthrough came in the form of magnetic fields, the use of which has discovered by the incumbent Van Daniel during his tenure as Chief Overseer of Alpus. A truly inspired idea that has brought lasting benefits to the star. So the question becomes, how do birds handle when the magnetic field drops briefly and the, and the poles shift? Because then the magnetic fields aren't going to be leading them to the same places they went to before. Alright, here we go guys. So, it comes to this. I have no wish to fight, but this time, I cannot yield. Though the world may think me a mad, desperate fool, I will hold fast to my conviction. Alright, final boss of the dungeon. Mass bird extinction. I mean, it's a good thing that birds don't hold a uh, super, super important uh, place on the, on the food chain, eh? So, so far to make himself a villain. Media, who goes so far as to transform. All right, here goes. I will have the time and tranquility I require. Lust and pale, gather to me. Patient breath. Unleash your power! Dancing winds! Pierce my foe! My way! Stars on high! Fall as rain! I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm not entirely useless. That's good to hear. He's casting double. I chose to leap forward because I forgot about that. Oh, Emmett still interrupts that. Well, that's good. Have a taste. Streams of ether. Surge is one. The Drupal. Guess we want to be here. Here. Uh, here. Double again, we're not gonna make the same mistake. But well, we might make the same mistake. wins! Here's my fault! Like we're gonna be a double tank buster. He's Captain True Bravery for your uh, FF Tactics fan. Which is why I'm surprised that Emmett Zog actually interrupts it, whereas... I'm not sure if Banker did. I 
You're making weird sounds now. What the fuck, dude? Stars on high. Fall is rain. Transformed. I am not finished yet. Okay, there it goes. No, <sighs> my. No, his power. Okay, we're gonna grab the treasure chest and we're gonna take a quick break before we step out of the dungeon. Katisa's wings, yay. All right, what did I get? I got gloves, cool. Let me equip those. Sick. Okay, guys, uh, don't go anywhere. We got more FF14 for you here in just a moment. I'll leave it the victory music. <laughs> 